let's let's talk about Horton Foote. Uh, I've been the drama critic of the Wall Street Journal for eight years, and when I started this job, you didn't see plays by Horton Foote in New York. People knew who Horton Foote was because obviously he was a very famous name in American theater, but he was no longer a, a constant presence on the New York stage. And in fact, he had never been a presence on Broadway. Uh, his work simply not made the kind of impression in what is allegedly the, the capital of theater in the United States that it should have for a great American writer. And then in 2005, Signature Theater in New York did a revival of The Trip to Bountiful. It was one of the most remarkable performances of anything I've ever seen in my life. I was, in fact, sitting one row ahead of Horton Foot and would have introduced myself to him. Critics aren't supposed to do that, but sometimes we do it. Except that I was so choked up <laughs> that I couldn't say anything. Mm -hmm. And so I missed my chance to speak to Horton Foote. That was the trigger in New York. It led to um, dividing the estate being brought to New York, and then to the amazing feat of dividing the estate opening at Lincoln Center, bringing Horton Foote his first great Broadway success three months before his death at the age of 92. But his mother was the pianist in the Methodist church. He went to morning and evening services. His plays are full of hymns. And so we have been every day uh, singing our hymns. There are two that turn up in the play, but we're going to learn about eight. And it will be a large part of the sound design. And uh, there's wonderful irony in the lyrics of these hymns. Nothing changes here, uh, among other things. Um, and so we've been uh, learning to sing in four parts. And it's, uh, it's been a revelation this week how much better them sound in four parts rather than <laughs> all together. Uh, so one thing we do as a group is we've been singing hymns. We've been dancing. Dancing doesn't turn up in the play at all. But Horton Foote loved dance. And dancing was a big deal in many of his plays. So as part of an ensemble strategy, I mean, just getting people who don't know each other to dance is uh, wonderfully interesting. And we don't do that in our culture much anymore. So you have to touch each other. And when you do the, the tech, when you, when you do the two-step, or whatever, you suddenly see this room of buoyant people who would never be dance partners, talking away. The other thing we've been doing a lot of is telling stories. Um, the characters telling stories about themselves, about each other, and using that as a way to uh, support the text, uh, get us backstory. We've also done a huge timeline across the, the wall about who died when and who married who and how important family is. And one of the really important moments in the play is when the, the central members of the family all start singing a hymn together after they've just been arguing furiously about money. <laughs> and they're going to argue furiously again about money, but that brackets all of them singing this hymn. And you have to realize that your love and your difficulty are side by side. Just like the flaws in these people and their strengths, they're side by side. And that's part of Foote's huge heart and humanity, and but very clear eye about people. And the thing I have discovered is that for me, the most important and unique and individual thing about the theatrical experience, the thing that makes it not a movie, not a television show, is the intimacy, is the fact that sitting on this stage, I can see all of your faces, everybody in this house. Uh, and you just can't get that in a Broadway theater, and obviously you don't get it in a movie house. And it is, it is the irreplaceable thing that I think is going to keep theater alive no matter what happens in the culture. Is 
that once people have an experience like that, once they sit in a room like this and they see a show and they're breathing the same air as the actors, they realize that there's nothing else like this in the world. 